Hey guys, what's up? Timmy J Tech here, and welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to announce that this is my first Ludum Dare challenge. I have never done a game jam before, and so I was super excited to get right into this. I had three days to start and think of a concept that had to go with delaying the inevitable. So this is the 50th Ludum Dare. It is their 20th anniversary, and I'm super excited that this is my first one. I can't wait for the next one because it's already over. I can't believe it. But I'm here to show you what kind of game I made. And you can even play it yourself if you want. I'll have a link in the description. Let's get right into it. So if I hit play here, you can see we have a timer going down. And if I go up here, I can add more time. And then here I have a pipe mini game. So when you click on, got to make sure that the hitboxes are big enough for people to actually click on. Now that the hitboxes are a bit easier to click, you can add more time and now start the pipe game. So the pipe grid is going to have to just move over something so that it's not over a glider. Let's see how this works. Yeah, because the collider is right there. You can't see it, but here, if I go to interactive platforms, I have an invisible collider right here. And so since that's colliding right here, it actually won't let you click on it which is kind of annoying so um we're gonna have to put it in the middle let's see how this is because then if you actually because you could still move so you go up here you get more time start the pipes and uh we'll do that a little bit more and then i also have a pipe manager which shows how many pipes there are there's six pipes and there's only correct total yeah see it's not correcting that one Oh, it's not correcting any of them now. And I think it's still that one, but we'll see if it works. So if I hit play, go over here, get more time. Let me unlock this. Oh, I can go under it now. There we go, and now it's complete. And we still have five seconds to launch. You can uh, press this again, and then there's going to be two other mini games. This one's going to be an image that you can swap and then once it's in the correct area, then it will be good to go. And then this one will be a fill in the blank, so you'll drag and drop the right item in the right spot. So for the game loop, after 10 seconds, this rocket will launch. So let's wait to see how that goes. And boom. Oh, we lose. <laughs> so if you don't complete this circle or the pipes or the fill in the blank game, then you will lose. But I have a little trick here. If I hit play and then go into my background where the rocket is, I have a little check here for liftoff. So if I come up here, I'll hit all buttons are true. So everything is true and you win. There you go. So I can automatically set it to liftoff or I can automatically set it to uh, win. Either way, if you win, it'll go to the end screen. So here I'll say all buttons are true. So you've completed all the mini games and now you can watch the now you can watch it launch there you go you win it launches and then five seconds later or so all right now we can start the coroutine stall win end and then uh i'll also do lose end and then change this to stall lose end there we go. So now, when you win, it'll also take you to that last page. So here I'll hit play. I'll set all buttons to the true because we've completed all the mini games. And now we wait. There we go. You win. And in five seconds, it'll take you to that game over screen. There we go. Game over. Thanks for playing. Now, all I need to do is add in the two other games the one where you swap the images so that they're right side up. And then this one is going to be a fill in the blank kind of thing where you just drag and drop different objects where they're supposed to go. Once you've completed all three games, then the launch will be complete and your rocket won't fall over.
I would just start out with a launch timer and I can go up to this little uh, board here and add some more time and basically we just got some puzzles so we have like a pipe puzzle here so you have to like make sure that all the pipes are in the right area and then I have to make sure I press more time or the rocket will you know fail so uh, then we got some drag and drop stuff which can be a little finicky oh that oh, that come on you got this there we go there we go and oh I need time Oh, that was really close. Two of three are done. And this is the last puzzle. Just a little bit of navigational stuff here. And perfect. Now we've completed it. So we win. And, oh, you couldn't see it in time. But uh, the rocket's supposed to launch there. And there you go. We win. Perfect. So I did have a little bit of feedback already in one day. Someone said that once you win, nothing happens. It isn't very, you know, known that this is the rocket that's going to be launching off. There should probably be like some sort of, you know, arrow that's pointing to the air to the rocket once you're like off the screen. But I really enjoy this. It took me a while to get all the art done. And when you like press the button, it should turn green. Well, there we go. We've completed it once again. And I could play this forever. I love it. It's just simple puzzles. Um, I really wanted to focus on just getting a base game in that I could practice my pixel art and practice just uh, basic concepts in Unity. I really wanted to get into more audio and stuff, but next Ludum Dare, I definitely will try to prioritize different things in my three days. I just, I felt like I had a lot of time and then I really didn't because I was scrambling to get all these puzzles together. And it's a really cool concept. The other idea I had for delaying the inevitable was like three car lanes. And so you'd have like three lanes of cars and then you'd have to swerve between traffic and every time you pass another car you'd gain speed but then you'd have to like you know go over speed bumps to stop from going so fast or you just crash because you know crashing would be inevitable at that point but i thought this one was a bit more fun i got to make some pixel art and it's not completely done but i can reuse it and uh, maybe make a better game in the future let me know if you guys were in the Ludum Dare as well, because I'll check out your game and give it some feedback. I'd love for you to do the same. Or even just play it, because, you know, it took me three whole days to make this game. It was hard work, and I'm really excited for the next one. I love that my game is just a complete game loop. Like, you can infinitely play it. So you can, like, do the puzzles, and then um, it just continues to go. So even if you launch a rocket, it's like it's actually your job. You know, because you're like, oh, doing each of the rockets. There we go. Now we got to wait for this rocket to launch. And then once you win, then you can just redo it and continuously do your job of launching rockets. There we win. And now we can just hit restart and boom. It took me a while to get some of these puzzles in, but I'm really excited because now I can reuse this code. The drag and drop puzzle is definitely something that replicates an inventory system. And the two other puzzles are just randomized rotations. So there wasn't too, too bad there, but... It at least gave me practice to create game managers for these puzzles so that it can control if something is happening. It will talk to a greater, bigger system in my game so that everything is connected to one system. This is a full-blown project and I worked so hard on it and I'm really excited for everyone to try it out. So let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I did do all of the art except for the compass rows and the pipe system. The pipe system was done by Kenny, which is a free asset. And I just didn't have enough time to make my own compass rose, or I would have made a nice pixelated one. I'm hoping I can reuse these assets and make some cool laboratory game. Um, I, I'm not really sure what kind of game yet, but I already have these assets now, and I can definitely improve on them. If you want to see what I'm working on in the future, go ahead and subscribe as I'll have more content weekly. But thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.